Hello, East Hardy eighth graders. My name is Mrs. Nesselrode, and I'm the principal at East Hardy High School. I hope everyone's doing well and staying safe. Well, guys, this was not quite the way that I had anticipated meeting each of you, but um, we will make the most of the situation that we're in. By the time you see this video, most of you will probably have already received your packets, the second packet that's been coming out from East Hardy Early Middle School. Included in those packets, you're going to find a ninth grade course selection form. And this ninth grade course selection form is gonna have a listing of all the courses that you have the um, opportunity to take or to select from at East Hardy High School for next year. Typically, we would have paid a visit to you at East Hardy Early Middle School. Uh, in the past, we've also done a step-up day, which is kind of an orientation day or evening for you and for your parents. I do wanna let everyone know that um, we are still planning to do that. Right now with the current situation, I'm not sure when that's going to happen, uh, but I do promise that at some point before you guys come to East Hardy High School as ninth graders, you'll have the opportunity to come and to tour the school, uh, to meet some of the wonderful staff we have at East Hardy High School, and to ask any questions that you may have. The purpose of this video is to just briefly go over the registration form that you received um, in your, along with your packet that was mailed home. So if I'm gonna give you a moment, if you don't have that registration form in front of you, if you would please grab a, uh, the copy of the form and we'll go over that together. I also wanna say while you're looking for that form or, or picking that up, uh, if anyone has misplaced that form, uh, a copy of this form is also on the East Hardy High School website. So you can go to that website and download that form. I also want to encourage students and parents, if you have any questions at all about any of the information I'm going over, please feel free to call me at the school or to email me. Uh, my phone number, all of my contact information is listed on the registration form, and I would be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. Beginning in August of 2020, all students in Hardy County Schools will be required to have 22 credits to graduate. Um, this 22 credit requirement is the result of the new changes in policy 2510. So this is brand new. This means that every student in, in enrolling or coming into East Hardy High School as a ninth grader will be required to have 22 credits in order to graduate. These 22 credits are required to be in specific areas. On the registration, along with the registration form that you received, you also received a copy of the graduation requirements for Hardy County Schools. And it broke down into each content area and elective area, specifically how many credits of each that was needed. On the ninth grade registration form, and the ninth grade registration form that I'm referring to, this is the front of it. On that ninth grade registration form, um, every student coming into ninth grade is required to take English 9. Therefore, you'll notice on the form, there's an X already selected for English 9. The next category would be math, and there are two math classes listed, Algebra Support and Algebra 1. If you are a student that struggles with math, or that perhaps you feel that you need a little extra assistance in math, I would encourage you to select the Algebra Support class. If you do rather well in math, or math seems to be your strong suit, then I would encourage you to check the Algebra 1. A few weeks ago, prior to us uh, breaking for this pandemic, Mr. Wolf attend, uh, came down to the school and actually um, an exam was given to students, a math exam. And I have the results of those exams. And Mr. Wolf, along with your teachers from East Hardy Early Middle, have made recommendations for which students should go into algebra support as opposed to those that should go into Algebra 1. So what I'm gonna ask you to do, students, is I'm gonna ask you to mark the one that you feel like you would be the um, most comfortable in. And then I'm also going to look at the list that was generated by Mr. Wolf and uh, your teachers and I will use that to make sure that you are placed in the correct category. So don't stress over the math. If you're unsure as to which one you think you should be in, mark the one that you feel would best meet your needs, and then I'll compare that with what the teacher's suggestions and recommendations were. But you will choose one math class, one of the two. 
Social studies, all ninth graders will be taking world studies. You'll notice there's an X in that box already marked as well. All ninth graders will be taking earth science, already marked. Uh, physical education, PE, all incoming ninth graders will also take PE, and that is also marked. Foreign language is optional. I know some of you as eighth graders had the opportunity to take Spanish one with Mrs. Sheetram while you were at East Hardy Early Middle. So if that is the case, then you have the opportunity to register for Spanish two. Um, please note that if you are college bound, if you are a freshman and you're thinking that you're wanting to go into any type of post-secondary education, a two-year or a four-year degree, we ha it is recommended that you take two years of foreign language. Based on whether or not you wanna go on to Votech or take college classes your junior and senior year, I would highly recommend that if you're planning on taking your foreign language that you start taking these in ninth grade um, or eighth grade if you've already taken it there, that's wonderful. But I would definitely recommend that if you are planning on taking foreign language and you haven't started yet, that you would start this in ninth grade. You'll also find a list of fine arts electives. Each student is required to take one credit of a fine arts class sometime between their ninth and 12th grade year. While you do not have to take this fine arts credit your ninth grade year, in most cases, it's extremely beneficial to students that go ahead and take that in their ninth grade year. For example, if a student waits until their junior year or their senior year to take this fine arts credit, it often conflicts with a college class that they may be wanting to take, or maybe that student's planning on going to South Branch or taking another career tech, a CTE class. So you wanna make sure that you're getting these things out of the way in a timely manner so that it doesn't, that you don't end up as a junior or senior having more classes that are needed than what you have slots for. So again, I would highly recommend that you take a fine arts class during your ninth grade year. At the top of the first page, you will notice where it has your name and your Weavis number. You will notice where there is a line that says CTE, and under that there's another line that says college bound. College bound obviously is what you would, you would put a check mark on that college bound column, and you'll see those two columns right here. You'll put a check mark on that college bound column if you're planning on going to college at this point. The CTE stands for Career Technical Education. If you are planning on taking any of the CTE programs that are offered at East Hardy High School, and we currently offer Ag, we offer Culinary Arts, and we offer Business, as well as Building Trades. If you are planning on taking any of those CTE courses within our building, or if you are planning to attend South Branch Career and Technical Center your junior year and taking any of the various programs they offer, then you would mark CTE. Again, the CTE is where you're, it is a career tech education program. That means that you're taking classes where you're learning a skill set. For example, you're learning to weld, or you're learning carpentry, or you're learning business or culinary arts. College bound is, the pro, is if you are planning on attending a two or a four year college. We ask that you mark this on your form so that when we are reviewing transcripts with you each semester and when we're looking at your uh, personalized education plan that you will be doing with Mrs. Orndorff that we have an idea of how to best assist you and have you prepared for what you want to do following high school graduation. On the back part of the form you will see general electives listed. The general electives that we have offered for ninth graders um, include uh, parenting, uh, the intro to agriculture, food and natural resources, the Intro to Ag, Food and Natural Resources is the first class that you would take if you wanted to go into an Ag program and be a CTE completer in Ag. Please note that for each of our CTE programs, Ag, Business, Culinary Arts, and the Building Trades, there are four courses that you will take in order to be a completer in any one of these areas. Ideally, you would take the first course in ninth grade, second course in 10th grade, third course in 11th grade, and the fourth course in 12th grade. What we've listed on the general elective list on the back of this form is the first course for each of those content areas. I am also on the website 
putting a list of our CTE programs and the, core, core, the four courses that you need to take for each of those programs. That will also be an extra resource if you wanna to look to see what four programs you would need to take to be an ag completer or what four programs you would need to take to be a business completer. Um, also, a change in policy 2510 this year, the BCA, which is the Business Computer Applications, while we are definitely still offering that, it's a wonderful course for students to take, um, it has changed a little bit in that it is no longer a graduation requirement for Hardy County Schools. So um, Business Computer Apps is not a requirement for Hardy County Schools. What you will need to do is on the front of the sheet, you'll notice that there are four black X's that I filled in for you. Those were for the required classes that you really don't have a choice in taking those. You will need to select the other four courses. So when you finish this registration form, you wanna count the number of X's that you have, and you should have a total of eight boxes selected because we are on an eight period day at East Hardy High School. So again, you already have four selected for you. Those are English, Social Studies, Science, and PE. You will, that's four. You will need to select a math, which will give you your fifth one. And then you will need to decide whether or not foreign language is appropriate for you. That again will be based on whether or not you're thinking, um, one of the factors will be whether or not you're thinking about college. It's highly recommended for college. Then I also encourage you to select a fine arts credit so that you have the opportunity to get that fine arts credit um, behind you your ninth grade year. And then again, you have those courses on the back to choose from. Um, I'm asking that registration forms be returned to me by April the 27th. And there's a couple of different methods by which you may return those. I've included my email address on the form. If you have access to email and to a scanner and you wanna scan that form and email it, that would be great. There's a fax number listed. If you would prefer to fax it, you can also place that in the mail. As far as dropping forms off at the school, under the current um, circumstances right now, there isn't someone at the school on a regular basis, so it's difficult for you to drop forms off there. Um, should, that, should that situation change where we know that we're going to have people there at set time, I will definitely uh, make you aware of that. It is important that your parents, that the, you as the student and that the parent both signs off on the form. That's saying that they, uh, it's important that your parents know what you're selecting to take and that they have input into that schedule. Again, I wanna reiterate that at some point when, um, when all of the um, social distancing regulations have, have you know, been lifted and that we're back to somewhat of a normal routine, we will be doing an orientation day or evening for eighth grade students. So again, I, I don't want you guys to stress that you're not gonna have that opportunity. Um, I'm very much looking forward to meeting each of you and I'm excited about you coming to East Hardy High School. Uh, I'm more than happy to answer any questions. We have a wonderful staff of very helpful teachers and I know they're anxious and excited to meet you guys as well. So again, if you have any questions, please don't, don't stress over them, don't sit home and worry about it, pick up the phone and call me, shoot out an email. Um, I'm here to help you or to assist you in any way possible. So I pray that everybody stays safe, um, take care, and hope to talk to you soon. Thank you.